This video is going to show you a tutorial as well as a review of how open elac works on the Raspberry Pi. Uh, let's start with the tutorial. Go on the Raspberry Pi website which will be in the description and uh, go on the download section and select the open elac and select a download zip. You could also download torrent. Uh, the file is about 100 meg. After uh, you have downloaded it, you have to extract the file. You also have to download Win32 Disk Imager. If you have installed other images on the Raspberry Pi, you probably already have this software. So after that, you can open up Win32 Disk Imager. And uh, make sure that uh, it's on E or it's on the designated letter that you have connected your SD card onto. And then select the ISO or I mean the image file and uh, hit open. After that, you have to hit write. This whole process should take you around 10 minutes or so, depending on your internet connection. After you're done uh, putting it on the SD card or the micro SD card, you can put it on your Raspberry Pi and you will be up and running. Unlike REST BMC, you do not need to be connected to the Ethernet port the first time you connect it. So uh, everything is already installed. If you have a wireless dongle like I have from the Canakit, uh, you will be able to go on the network section and connect to your Wi-Fi router in no time. So on the last video, some people said the crash was the cause of the power supply, but I actually have the perfect power supply for the Raspberry Pi. Uh, it has two and a half amp and five volt. So this is not the problem. But for this video, I'm actually using a USB power bank. So this is the kit that I have bought. Uh, when I bought it, it cost about $73. Right now, it's uh, if it's about $55 so if you're planning on buying a Raspberry Pi right now is a great time so let's start with open elect uh, as you can probably hear in the background there is a hiss sound that comes from the speaker so I'm not sure what the problem is but if I do connect the speaker through the three and a half millimeter jack it makes a small but very noticeable hiss sound but if you're using HDMI it has no problem so let's see how it plays video So this video was played directly from the YouTube app on the XBMC and even though the video doesn't have the problem if I'm using the 3.5mm jack it does make that his noise which makes it really bad. So let's see how airplane works. As you can see, AirPlay doesn't work that well on the latest update. So when you download X, uh, download Open Elac, please do not update to the latest version. For the purpose of this video, I've actually uh, downloaded to the latest update, which caused the AirPlay problem. Before, I didn't have any problem with uh, AirPlay. For the uh, past few days that I have been using AirPlay, it had no problem. So do not update. So as you can see, if you do install the latest update, uh, it has some latency issues and I'm not able to pause in media when I pause it on my iOS device. Other than that, Open Elect is much smoother than the Rasp BMC. I have had zero crashes. So when I'm going through the design elements or the UI and uh, go to an application such as YouTube, it never had any crashing issues. Uh, another thing I have observed, unlike RAS BMC, this is actually running at the stock frequency of 700 megahertz. It's not pre-overclocked, so you should not have any problem with that crashing. I'm also using the USB power bank. Uh, this is a uh, two amp, five volt, uh, which is plenty of power for this XBMC running on the Raspberry Pi. Overall, OpenELEC is good. It's better, it doesn't crash uh, if you're using a HDMI TV with the audio from going through the HDMI port. But if you're using it uh, and if, you're, if you connect it through a 3.5mm jack for audio, you're going to have problem. Overall, I recommend the Open Elec over Ask BMC because I can definitely tell that it's much smoother, it doesn't crash, and it's just overall much better. And be sure not to update to the latest version because you're going to have that problem like I said before.
Over the last couple days, I've actually been using the Raspberry Pi as a Bluetooth speaker. So I have it connected to speakers and have no video output. So I'm able to airplay sounds and videos with the audio. And there is actually really not that bad of a latency, assuming that you're running the older version of uh, not the updated version. So that's pretty much all. Thanks for watching.